Hi guys, in today's video I will show you one of the best screen recorder and screen capture tool you could get today without any limitations such as watermark or time limit and that records in a high quality videos. Okay, so let's go ahead and uh, get started. Um, so you could get this tool um, in two ways. You could um, get it from the Microsoft uh, App Store. And if you launch that and just search for Screen Recorder Pro, it should come up. It's called uh, Screen Recorder Pro for Win 10. And uh, even even though it's saying Windows 10, it works on Windows 11 as well. And uh, also the second way is launch your browser and go to Google and just uh, search for Screen Recorder Pro for Win 10. And the first uh, link on your search result is this one click on it and it should take you to this page just click on this uh, button and that should get you the tool okay so let's launch the tool okay so that's all uh, that's on um, the menu option and uh, let's go discover each um, settings so the first one is the home uh, setting it's the home icon and uh, for your audio settings, I have selected the wave uh, of file format or audio format. You could select MP3 or other formats as well. And um, my microphone source is uh, my external microphone, so it's this one. You could so select any source you like. And for the quality, I just made this the maximum. Your output folder is where your um, recording will go to. So I've selected the desktop. You could select any other folder. Okay, and um, okay. So now the full screen mode. If you're trying to record record the whole screen, you click on this one, and basically it just um, record everything on the screen. Or you could select the screen screen mode, and that basically um that basically lets you record a specific screen now the windows mode will uh, let you record a specific um, active window or you could select the um, region mode which is um it lets you basically select um, the section you would like to record on your screen and that's uh, my favorite i usually use uh, this one to record only a certain region on my screen okay so the second tab is the history tab and that basically will show all of your recent recording I don't have any as of now so let's click on the third tab which is the settings and over here you're able to change your language um, change the pre-start countdown so you could set a three second countdown before recording and you could set your capture duration you could select uh, minimize on uh, capture start so if you select this and once you hit um, record this will basically uh, gets minimized and um, okay now over here you could make this a dark theme if you like and you could change the accent color as well so right now the accent color is blue. Um, I can change that as well. So now let's go to the overlay. Um, before I um, okay, so before I go to the overlay, you see this. Uh, so if you click on this, it will include your uh, mouse clicks, which are set on the overlay menu. And if you click on this, it will display your um, keystrokes. Uh, basically, it will have a uh, text box shown on your screen with all the keystrokes you type and in the elapsed time it will also show um, a text box on the screen with the elapsed time and all those um, overlays are set over here so let's unselect those click on the overlay button and let's go through the overlay um, options so let me, let me make this bigger and you see my screen on the right 
So uh, first um, setting is the keystroke. So you could have um, a keystroke window shown on your uh, on your recording, and that basically uh, shows you all the keys you type. And that's this is the text box for it. You could move it wherever you like on your screen. For your mouse options, the mouse cursor, you could change the highlight. Uh, so like right now there's a yellow circle you could change this to blue if you like and you could change the size so like it's bigger and your left click you could change that as well so right now it's um it has a radius of 19 i could just make it bigger and now you could see it's bigger and i could change the click color to red maybe As you could see okay and for your webcam um, your webcam is this box you could have it on your um, lower right corner or upper right corner okay elapsed so that's the elapsed time if you want to show it on your recording and and um, you could put it anywhere on your screen as well and sensor so this is interesting so like if you would like to block something on your screen you don't want some user to see like for example if you type the, I don't know like maybe a user ID or some type of uh, sensitive information and you would like to block or if you like to block a watermark somewhere on your screen you could just have a censored box and this will stay uh, there throughout the screen blocking whatever you don't want your users to see And I'm um, just um, a text You could include a text on your screen like this one. I'm gonna just type test And maybe like make bigger Oh test Okay and you could have this uh, text box shown on your recording so like maybe uh, best I could just put this box over here and uh, images okay you could include an image on your recording as well so like let me select the sample image gonna just like this now the image won't show now it's only shown the image uh, file path but once you record it will show them so I'm gonna place it here I don't know like maybe here I'm just gonna place these over here so you can see them and uh, I'm gonna look. yeah just gonna go here and now uh, okay, so, uh, okay so let me close this uh, menu and um, let's go to configure now and for the configure you have your proxy settings you have your sound settings so you could set um, a sound for uh, recording start, the start of recording the stop of recording the pause uh, so you will um, know if recording has started or stopped you could set your hotkeys so f1 is start stop recording for me f2 and um and all the other stuff and you could add more if you like and tray icon you could minimize this file naming you could change your file naming format so mine is displaying right now uh, the year month day hour minute seconds so you could change that as well and you could change the output folder as well screenshot you could change the file format image format uh, Mine is PNG, you could change it to JPEG. Okay, now there is um, the canvas, which is basically um, an image editor that comes with this recorder. So let me open um, a sample image like this one. And you could uh, edit this image, you could change the brightness. You could uh, change the contrast so it's a neat um, little editor that comes with the uh, with the recorder 
Okay. Okay, so now let let me uh, test this. So I'm gonna record something. So let's hit. Uh, let me go to this, and I'm just gonna select a region, and like maybe. No, no, let me make this bigger. I'm gonna select this whole thing. Like up to here, maybe. Okay, and I'm gonna hit this. And right now it's recording. So, um, yeah, let, me see. let me move this to the side. So, there's a neat uh, pen option, like you could write on the screen while recording. So, like, I could point out to things. Like click on this and you could erase those as well you could change the font size and you can you could change the color like I could do this oh, let me let me select the pen okay uh, test okay and then let me erase this okay and now um, let me stop this let me go back to the selection and just click on this to stop it and now um, and now if i go to uh, my history i should see the recording now that's all i wanted to show you guys for this video thank you for watching